Hi everyone, this is Phi, and today I'm going to check out Umbrella Warriors uh, demo for AGDG Demo Day 12. And I've not played this before, so we're going to give it a run. Alright, roaring through the skies, the rain comets circle the universe, bringing luck to those who see them. Every 70 years, their appearance above this planet would be celebrated. However, scientists have found out they can become a valuable source of energy. The government has decided the comets must be captured. With their minds like that of a child, the comets suffered greatly in captivity. From the desperate plea, two spirits were brought to life with a single purpose. Go, Umbrella Warriors, help those who need it. Alright, so that's interesting. Um, there's no audio that I hear. Checking my volume here. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay. Um, click. Not responding to Xbox input. Enter key worked. Uh, press start. I'm pressing start. It's not working. Um, hmm. Well, that's not a good sign. Alright. The Xbox controller is connected. But it's not. Alright, so there's audio. And no, it's not working. Um, change controls. Type keyboard, type pad one. Oh. Okay, so. <laughs> Alright. So what happened here is I, I went in here and I can change this to controller and then what I did is I accidentally hit the A button which changed it back and then after that I couldn't, I couldn't change it with my controller again. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, so I have to manually change it to controller which is um, kind of lousy but I'm, I'm going to assume that the developer kind of knows that. Um, I'm used to games just kind of working with whatever controller input you give it. So hopefully that can be fixed at some point. Hit test. Alright, looks like it works. Alright, so um, I hadn't mentioned yet. Um, I haven't played this demo before, but I have played the last demo. From the last demo day, so it was a couple months ago. Um, I had some opinions, obviously, about it. Um, some things I liked, some things that I thought could be improved on. So we're just going to see kind of... What kind of progress that this person's made with their demo? And uh, let's see. Press start. We're gonna go to return here. There's no music in this part at this point. Uh, let's check the other options. Get sound, music. Um, don't know about music yet. Full screen is no. Uh, I don't know if I want to change that. <laughs> I don't know if it'll mess up my recording if I do. Quality is set to high. Let's leave that. And I want to review the controls just real quick. So just start, shoot, jump, shield. All right, that's fine. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna go right in. Um, okay, we got difficulty levels. This is new, I believe. I'm gonna leave it in the middle for now. Um, last time I tried this, I did die a lot, and I was—I mean, there are some reasons I thought why, but it was also I think because I was kind of talking and not focusing entirely on playing, so. We'll see what happens. Um, Alright, so I'm noticing I can't select this with the thumbstick on my Xbox controller, but the D-pad does work. I don't know why. Um, I can't... Alright, so the Y button went back. I kind of expect the B button to go back. But the Y button is back in the menu, so I kind of... I would make a suggestion, maybe make the B for Xbox controller be back. Um, so yeah, I wasn't noticing this before, but the, the D-pad is the only thing that moves and moves the cursor in the menu. The thumbstick doesn't work. It's fine for now, but hopefully in the, the future you can get that thumbstick working in the menus. Alright, so um, I believe these are just cosmetic differences. Um, 
I'm gonna go with the girl one again. I like the the two the two colored eyes. All right, so I, he probably put the screen in just because of my my last video I made because I was never using the shield basically. Um, so this is remember use shield to reflect attacks with like 50 exclamation points. Enemies don't hurt on contact; their attacks do. So that means you can run into them, but you should avoid their attacks. <coughs> All right, I like the <laughs> I like the background scrolling. It says placeholder tutorial. Um, and the squiggle lines and the art and stuff is pretty cool. I like that. Okay. Oh my gosh. So many kitty things. Alright. The beginning, Fateful Night. Um, this music, I, I think the developer mentioned that it was from... Oh, what is it called? Oh, I like I like that he ducked the attack. That was cute. I actually really like that a lot. Um, that actually teaches you that you can duck. <laughs> so that's a that's a really nice t touch. I'm actually kind of impressed by that. Um, music from um, gosh, what is it called? Oh, I can't. I don't know why I can't remember. I can visualize it. R type. I think he says it's from R type or one of the tracks of this. All right, so this is a power up, I guess. I don't know what that did. This looks like boomerang weapon, I guess, and I think that's a a um, camera weapon type thing. So I guess it just kind of does a flash thing. It does damage sometimes. Um, what button is all right? So probably should change this to one of the the R or, or L buttons or both of them um, instead of the B button because it, it would make a lot more sense to use shield. I if I can do that right here. Looks like I can. Um, so just a suggestion, I, I always think that making the default controls um, set really well is a good, a really good idea, even, even given the fact that um, players can customize it to their liking. Um, you know, sometimes players don't, sometimes they get used to something and then just dis discover that they have to like change it halfway through the game then they have to get used to controls again that kind of thing so um <clears throat> i'd suggest just making the one either the r or just make both r and l for like game pads um b oh gosh this went back to keyboard how'd that happen oh it's because i i pushed oh no I think that means I can't actually change the controls yet. Oh, that that stinks. <clears throat> All right, so I was talking and not paying attention to what was going on. Um, yeah, I'd suggest making R and L the shield rather than B, and obviously making the controls customizable. Uh, I'm sure that that's uh, planned by the developer, but it's just what I found out. So we're gonna go back in the game and just get used to it, I guess. That does mean I can't sh I can't go back and forth between shooting as easily as I'd like with the shield, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> all right, so I can't, I still can't shoot diagonally, um, which I personally don't care for. I also don't think there's a way to continue shooting in one direction, um, which I don't care for. I um, still think that would work a lot better for this particular kind of game. Um, the design and how many enemies there are especially um, especially being able to continue to shoot in one direction because that means you can run in the other way while shooting um, which you can't do here but I'm just gonna continue playing. I, I know that the developer was um, I mentioned this with the last demo and so they, they've made kind of a conscious design choice to do it this way and I do think it's important obviously for developers to do what they want to, so I'm just going to play it. <clears throat> Let's see how the... the uh, I remember it was... Um, whoops, I guess I probably should have shielded right then. See, I still want to stab the R button for shield. And it's just, I guess I just always put shields on, on that. Or maybe it's from playing Smash Brothers or something. But um, it does feel like there's a little less, a little less enemies in this 
than the last time. Maybe it's just this um, difficulty mode, um, which is, I think it, it feels a little more manageable than it did. Um, I can't tell, it, it looked like maybe the camera thing actually kind of stuns the enemies. No, I can't jump over that. Alright, so I think it's like three hits you die. Um, I still don't really like the jump, it's kind of the same as it was last time, and um, the fact that you move faster than you do running. It's also not particularly high, so it's a little difficult for if you decide you want to jump over something, you have to kind of be real careful about it. And I can't jump on top of that, see I, I feel like I should be able to just jump on top of that, but apparently I just have to shoot it until it dies, or it's not dying. Can I jump on that? I don't really know. Doesn't look like I can. Oh, that's weird. Hold on a second. I guess it's just barely high enough that you can if you're like right up against it. So that's a little weird. Um, suggest tweaking that because it's not obvious, but you can tell from my reaction, I think, anyways. Alright, I gotta remember this button's shield. You can also kind of hover a little. I don't know what that would be for, but... Alright, there's poop here. I don't know what... I guess it's points. There. <laughs> I used it. Oh, crap. Yeah, it's pretty hard to... You have to be very... You have to get it right the first time with the jump. You can't really... Um, there's not a lot of room for adjustment when jumping over those bullet things. Alright, I kind of like that, that there's like a meteor, meteor shower going on um, in the background. That's kind of cool. Let's try switching this on. Um, because it was suggested, I, I checked the readme real quick before I jumped into this, and the developer mentioned if you saw some frame drops to try switching that on, so let's see what happens. So it does look more solid. Um, I think the input delay is usually okay with 2D games to use VSync. So. Alright, now I remember seeing this guy um, posted in the the thread a long time ago, so that's pretty interesting. <laughs> I thought I might be able to squeeze between those, but I couldn't. <clears throat> Alright, so let's see if the shield works. It does. Um, okay, there's a... I'm noticing there's a little meter in the top that shows um, it's dropping when I use the shield, so I guess that's limited, but it does recharge over time. Um, this isn't particularly difficult in any way. I mean... Okay. <laughs> I like how you bounce up in the air when it dies. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that boss, I mean, is very easy. Uh, it's probably easier than the other things I've fought already in the level, so... Could probably be... made a little more challenging for that reason. Oops. Alright, so that guy gives me power-ups. I don't know what that was that I picked up, but... Playground rules none. I don't know why that guy's just chilling out back there. Alright, so I think this is new from the last demo. I don't... I might just not be remembering. It's entirely possible, but... Alright, so I got a boomerang, which is interesting because it... that was dumb. Um, you have to wait for it to come back to you before you have to shoot it again, so I like that. I think that's a cool weapon design. Pew. Whoops. Put that straight down. So this actually goes diagonally, so I like that because... <laughs> well, obviously I was mentioning I'd like to shoot diagonally, so I'd probably just stick with this weapon forever if I could. Which I can't now because I just picked this up accidentally. Um, you might be able to make it so that that thing doesn't you don't just grab that um, so inadvertently, like I just did, because I wasn't really intending to do that, but I mean, it's not the biggest deal. I don't know if I can get to those. Well, I can't now, I guess.
Alright, so cute little guys in the background. It's always cool to have these fun little entrances. Uh, it's kind of the developer um, making use of the 2.5D, which is it's cool, even if it's only like cosmetic. Oh my goodness. Alright, I couldn't <laughs> I actually couldn't find the shield button in time on that one I wanted to. Would have been easier if it was on the R button there. Alright, so that's kinda cool. I like how he's got physics going. Let's see if I can make a path Whoa! <laughs> I'm not sure if that was a the best place to put enemies. Um thankfully you don't take damage from collisions, so that was fine, but it caught me off guard for sure. Alright, so maybe that's health? Probably, uh, itching my nose here, sorry. <clears throat> um, Alright, so... I'm going to check something. I don't know if you can... It doesn't appear you can drop through these, so that's a little... Um, I would expect you'd be able to. Maybe that's something that can be added in. Not that it's ruining anything for me, but... Oof. Usually makes things a little faster, more dynamic to be able to move around like that on platforms like this. <clears throat> Alright, we're going down. The end of the preview. Okay, so I guess that's the whole demo this time. Um, yeah, so I'd say it's pretty similar to what it was before. I kind of have the same sort of criticisms, but um, I think I probably enjoyed this one more just purely for the fact that the um, the amount of enemies and uh, kind of the placement and how many how many spawn in at once and everything is more manageable this time so it was um, I felt like I was more on top of it and given the limitations you know not being able to shoot diagonal or shoot in the same direction didn't feel as needed as they did before um, on the same note I um, I still believe those things would be a good um, inclusion and I think you could probably get away with uh, even just cramming all those so many enemies back in um, a lot more if you had those features um, the diagonal shooting and the ability to stay shooting in one direction so you know that's that's my personal opinion I think it would make for a funner game and you could make it more action-packed and everything but um, as it is with um, those designed decisions in mind uh, it's it's still fun and I definitely like the the whole style I like the um, the art and the 2.5 D's are very good the uh, the use of the 3d and um, the uh, the background designs and everything um, <clears throat> and I definitely like the um, the fact that there's a two-player co-op I don't have anyone to play with <laughs> but um that's uh that's a really cool addition for, especially for a PC game. So, um, yeah, I, I I thought it was fun. I definitely like the tweak difficulty, I guess, or the enemy placement and stuff. Um, and I'm looking forward to the next next demo. All right, guys, I'm gonna end this. Um, maybe check out Clarent demo if you're interested at all. It's a Metroidvania I'm, I'm working on with Ericado, and um, still in an early demo it's pretty rough it's it's alpha but um if you have any interest you know definitely check it out see what we're working on and um where we're going with it and uh yeah we'll see what else i can dig up <laughs>